the Middle East to divide the United States of America into the Republic, for which it stands, on one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Chairman, I move to approve the August 7, 2006 regular session minutes as written. Second. Motion made by Mr. Pino, second by Mr. O'Leary. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous? <coughs> Four zero. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve the August 7, 2006 executive session minutes as written. Second. Motion by Mr. Pino, second by Mr. O'Leary. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Correspondence. Jody, yeah. I didn't get back to my house in time this evening to get the package. I left the other car. Did you oh. just mark that I want a copy of uh, that one document that was on there? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mark Paul, I'm at 12 up to now. On behalf of uh, Narissa, North Reading Youth Services, and um, we presented three petitions. As courtesy, we want to let you know and show our uh, interest in having you guys uh, give us some time at one of your uh, next selectmen's meetings so we can give you more detail. We want to uh, have the town um, support a self-funded uh, youth director for the town, and uh, we've already started the funding, and we're doing real well at that. It's uh, been a lot of support from people in town. It's directed towards people, uh, kids, really, between the ages of 11 and 12 to 16 to 18, whenever they lose interest in, in um, programs to keep them interested in things other than uh, hanging around and stuff. Uh, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with what we've been doing, Steve, but uh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so we just. I'm just thinking, we'll get out a little bit now and then we'll get into the details, maybe at a, at a yeah. Right. No, I just, uh, we want the town to support us as well. Uh, being self-funded, we hope it all goes through. That's always an encouraging uh, yeah. proposal. Right. <laughs> so, at least for now, and, and then once the director is uh, in place, uh, we'll still be self-funded, but by him and, and this committee may uh, be formed, well, it'll be a new committee formed to uh, uh, take over for us in a few years, hopefully. So. Uh, I, I just don't get the details of it. I'm just looking at it for the first time right now. Yeah. So like 11 members you're talking about, appointing a committee, there'll be a standing committee of the town. Mm -hmm. okay. I'll go through the details. It was in the... Uh, it wasn't in our chat. No, it's in the... It just came in. Just came in. None of us... Yeah, that's okay. Okay, I'm just saying, Mark, maybe you just want to give us an overview of what you're proposing, and then when we get... When we have our public hearing, we just have a... What you see this position addressing the issues that you know going on in this. currently? I know you, you know, you know, Narissa's, Narissa's done a great job of reaching out to the community and to talk to them about uh, um, drug use. I know you were toasting the police. Why don't you give the group some of those details about what you mean? You well, had? a lot of us went to uh, I don't know the uh, the police put on a uh, a informational type meeting over six weeks, a year and a half, almost two years ago, I think, actually. And we learned that there's a serious problem, and we come out of a meeting saying, okay, well, now what do we do about it? And uh, that's where this group formed 
um, to try to do something about it. So uh, we went to Andover, North Andover is really the one that uh, inspired us the most uh, other than the initial meeting of Sullivan uh, to, to help. And they, they have uh, great uh, support over there in, in both towns. Uh, Andover's been at it, the North Andover's been at it for 18 years and uh, they've made a difference. So we want to do the same. A lot of other towns in the state are doing it also, and we want to make a difference and, and give these kids an alternative to boredom and going down the wrong path. Uh, it's outside of youth sports and uh, you know anything related to school or churches or anything like that. We want to have everybody welcome uh, to uh, have this youth services director Your goal, your goal is to try to address the kids that are now falling through the cracks, that are not yes. participating in sports, or they're not, they're not in one of the yeah, some kids that don't and care for sports. And, and, and stop the kind of drug problem we've had. Right. I, I know recently we've had uh, um, one of our a young men who went through our school systems uh, have a uh, die of an overdose not that long ago. Right. That's just and what we're, that brings that's that just what home we're kind of going. Yeah. Yeah. Mark, if I because I know we're going to discuss this later, but but just again, I just saw it too. So, but, but just just to clear my mind, so this person will not be a town employee. This person will just be hired. Will be. Will be a town employee. Look benefited. Yes. And all the funds will be paid for by your group. By that group. For the, the benefits and. And, yes. and everything else, yeah. salary. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, like I said, we'll discuss it. So I, I, this leads to a question that I would have is, obviously, as a group, you've discussed this, why does the person need to be a town employee if it's going to be funded from this group? Please, go ahead. Yeah. I think it's helped you address it. Um, I'm a member of the group also. We looked at it, we looked at the different towns, Feel that a lot of the things that they're going to do are going to be working with all the people in the town. Recreation strongly, police strongly, PBW strongly. <coughs> feel that it should be a member of the town, employee of the town. It'll be paid out of the revolving fund. And, and one of the things that you'll see that after two revolving funds, they want to grant and gift account, and one will be a revolving fund that works just like recreation did. So that the, the player to be named will be kind of the work the same way recreation does, but you'll have a director. Only in this case, it'll be self-funded from the RISA, making donations to a, a grant account, which is an evolving grant account, a, a gift account, and then that gift account can roll money to pay the director the salary and the benefits. Uh, and uh, the finance director, Mr. Tassoni, helped us very, very much to put these together. I would just like to make the uh, selectman that we kind of hold the space in case you know, we worked on Joe was great making calls and everything, but we want to make sure that we look at the three things, make sure everything's covered. I'd hate to see it get to town meeting four, and you know, if there's a word that's not in there correctly, can it not be done? So we'd like kind of a loop to, you know, work with Joe just to make sure it's in there. Um, I think it's important also that so the director of the town is someone that every, every town that you look at has <coughs> youth and recreation, or youth and health services, or youth alone. So you know, every department, is, every town is set up differently. But they're all uh, directors that are employed by the town. And I think that's a you know kind of a safer way to do what they're using. We expect them to use the school buildings, we expect them to use the uh, town grounds, we expect them to use this building. They're gonna be in and out, so I think the safest way for everybody concerned would be they get the position in the town. So it's one of those ones that at your next meeting maybe or whatever you discuss it, if you could hold a couple of spots just so I don't know if it would be the selectmen sponsor it, just to give us a chance to make sure all the language is correct in there. Well, I just commented that these are citizen petitions, and this therefore they have on. to go, they will go on the warrant without question, no, that, but that they does. can't be changed. No, no, right, this can't be changed because it's turned in today at 4 o'clock. I guess what I'm asking is, a lot of times in recreation, we would have a citizen's petition, but then we would say to the selectmen, you know, gee, can we put recreation, put the same thing on it, you might change the language a little bit. I just want, even though, you know, Joe and I sat and we searched, what we think is the right 53 and a half E 
uh, for the revolving funds and things like that. If if it comes that you know we put something in that it might be a little bit of the wrong language, if the selectmen we're just asking you have time before your warrant comes in, if any selectmen requests that something be put on, that we might want to put on the exact same identical items or maybe with some word exchange if we made a mistake on the city. Yeah, yeah, just, uh, just on the first citizen's petition in relation to the establishment of it, and again, this might be a good reason to hold a, a space, is that, uh, is, again, we just got this. The committee shall consist of 11 citizens, four of whom shall be appointed by the selectmen. The committee will consist of the existing seven board members and four members appointed by the town administrator. We get, and then you, and it doesn't say anything about, I mean, of the seven, until death do us part. Right. So resign, you know, in other words, well, I right. think it needs to be worded. Right, there was something in there. So there's a transition period, as we did with like Hill, you and. If the selectman did it, I think it may, I mean, if the selectman saved the space for it, we may have to change from the risk of considering it again. I almost think they should be appointed by the town administrator. You know, because the town administrator appoints recreation members and the town administrator appoints some. Yeah, I'm just saying. So it's similar to, you know, similar committee, similar type. I, I just, I'm just looking at quickly. Right. You've, you've got 11 members, seven who are currently seated. And then four appointed by the selectmen. Then you, the next paragraph say four appointed by the town administrator. So, yeah. so there's a conflict right there, there, and you're already over 11, or you, I don't know what it is. So, so it just needs to be cleaned up. Right. And I understand and it's a last minute petition. Just that if the selectmen would be good enough to sponsor it in a week or so, I think it would give myself and Joe just a chance to make sure we try to consider any amounts of money that might come in. If a grant came in, you know, how does it get set up? So I, I said, I need to go to a board meeting. So town meeting because we've got a couple of words out of order, not letting the uh, address. Are we going to set this up for a discussion later? Set up? Well, not today. No, we're not going to do the warrants. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I, I think it, well, I we may need to do this sooner than later. I, I think so. I just think there's some conflict in the language. Right. This tradition mm -hmm. from what I read, just in the establishment, the rest of it as far as setting up the revolving funds are pretty standard. Yeah. <clears throat> but I think the board conceptually has to either be on board or not on board if they're going to support it. If they're conceptually on board, then let's establish it so that it works. And, uh, right, you could still put it on, just even if you put it on just as a courtesy, you could still say we're not in favor of the time if that was the case, but at least you've allowed the committee to, you know, have it on there and come address you uh, properly. I didn't get a chance to go by John Murphy also to make sure that the moderator felt it was correct. Mr. Chen, can I make one comment? Yes, please. Um, I, I, I want to make sure that I disclose at this time that uh, uh, my wife, Kathy Dadino, is one of the founding members of Marissa, uh, very involved in this, and uh, uh, because there's no uh, um, remuneration for this, there's no pay involved, there's no money involved at all, um, I, I talked to the town council, I don't think there's any barrier involved, and I want to disclose that my wife is... Uh, involved in this uh, group. And the only pay bill is payback if you don't support it. You know about that. Yeah, I know all about, you know all about that. <laughs> well, when I just read through this briefly here, I'm trying to read while I'm also listening, <clears throat> uh, this first uh, article, the one that proposes this committee, makes no mention of a uh, Administrator or director of the nature of the revolving fund is it allowed to pay directors, salaries, etc., etc. So it's the same as recreation in the revolving fund wanted to hire two or three people and paid out of the revolving fund. You can do that. So by the nature of 53 and a half E and whatever the other number is, it allows you to hire a director. I remember Barbara Stats also originally we had asked to add a new committee to the town to call that by so that's a charter change. So the correct way to do it, would be at least the way that it's written now, which is the same way LBC's got it, form a committee, blah, 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 blah. I guess. So I, I mean, I really, I believe, other than what, I think that double type over there. Well, uh, you know, when I, when I read this, though, you know, I, I'm looking at uh, the bottom of uh, the first page. It says to work with NRYSSA in support of efforts to fund the youth service director position in developing programs for parent writing and fundraising. Nowhere does it say 